So uh, what it does like this, and you can see the water film wanting to uh, sheet off. And on this side, we, uh, we see that less fast. Do you like car detailing? Please subscribe Wheeler Detailers. Hit the bell icon and watch all our videos. So what's up everyone? Thanks again for tuning in here on the Wheeler Detailers YouTube channel. My name is Martin, Fatima is behind the camera. And here on this side, you see a vinyl wrapped matte Seat Ibiza in the color 3M Chakra Gray. So last week we had a car wrap Foley.nl wrap training. And with three students, we actually vinyl wrapped the complete Seat here behind me. And the results are really stunning. Check out the content on the carrefolly.nl Instagram site for all those detailed shots, how to mount it, how to apply it, how to finish it. So since this car is being picked up soon, we thought it would be a really good moment to uh, highlight the Camel Guys Meticulous Mud series of products. Since the car can use a little bit of a touch-up and some protection since it's February and still some cold and wet winter weeks and months ahead, let's start with the first steps, how to clean, how to repair, and how to protect the matte vinyl wrapped Seat Ibiza behind me. See you guys and girls in the next shot. So we see the vinyl wrapped roof here. It's a matte metallic. And before we gonna treat it with a jet seal matte and meticulous matte detailer, we treat it first with uh, isopropanol alcohol and with that we make sure grease from our skin our fingerprints will all be gone so here we go here i've got my jet seal mat after step one that was prepping with ipa i'm now going to go to step two use my red applicator and my jet seal mat Shake it before use. It's a thick polymer based cream, which we advise to apply a minimum two layers on a vinyl uh, wrap matte surface or matte paint and apply it per layer thinly on the screen. So when it's a little bit moisturized with a meticulous matte quick detailer, it's much easier to apply it thin and evenly. So first we're gonna spread it out then we're going to apply it in straight and even lines, as you can see here. You want to come a little bit closer. You can see the haze. And the haze needs to cure and bond to the matte surface in 20 minutes per layer. Here we go. Cool thing from Jet Seal, as well as gloss as the mud Jet Seal is, is that it doesn't smear on plastic and rubber parts, which is a big plus. And you can see here it's being applied easy and evenly. And it really comes because I primed the applicator with the meticulous matte quick detailer. 20 minutes later. After the 20 minutes of curing time or initial curing time is maybe better set. Then we're gonna wipe down the residue of the jet seal mat with a dry short piled microfiber towel in this case i'm choosing the workhorse green exterior microfiber towels but if you want to you could also choose the ultra fines or the short fiber side from the elites or the elgato towels they're really perfect for this application just rub it in in circular moments and give it that final wipe with an unused side just to make sure all residue is taken down. Then we'll wait for two hours, and after two hours, it's time for layer two. Two hours later. So, layer two is being prepped with the Jet Seal Mat and the Meticulous Mat Quick Detailer. Again, we'll spread it out. And again, we'll leave this layer cure for 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, it's time to uh, 
take off the residue and see what results we're gonna get. Here you see perfectly again why I uh, uh, prepped my uh, applicator with the meticulous matte detailer. This one, so you get a nice and even saturation of your jet seal matte product and the meticulous matte detailer, which makes it so much easier to uh, apply it thin and evenly. Sometimes jet seal matte has got some uh, complaints, some problems, or issues with uh, people that uh, apply this one. Since it would smear a little bit and with that stain a little on a matte paint or matte vinyl wrap surface, um, which you can easily prevent by making sure everything will be applied as evenly as possible and therefore also this video to help you guys and girls out to make sure you get good and results that last for a long time. 20 minutes later. You can actually see the shimmer now here from the second layer really laying on top while actually only applying two thin layers. We see some streaks. So these streaks can easily be <laughs> taken care of by giving my short pipe a towel, a couple of sprays with a meticulous matte quick detailer, and then give it that extra wipe. No more streaks. So this is the kind of result that we want. Even Fatima sees the difference. Oh yeah. So let me... Uh, Wipe a little bit more here on this side. To make sure everything is spotless and streak free. How we like it. So like this and flip to the dry side. And give it that extra wipe. So uh, as you have seen we have uh, divided the roof in two parts. One we've applied with uh, uh, common guys in jet seal mud and on the other side, uh, the left side, we didn't apply anything at all. Uh, we let it cure two layers, every layer 20 minutes. Then we wiped it down with a short piled microfiber workhorse towel. Between layer one and layer two, we do two hours of curing time. And the same we're gonna do after applying the second layer. We leave the car inside overnight for minimum eight hours so the car is ready for the next morning so this car can be picked up tomorrow morning to drive on the streets again with these two layers and mild washing meticulous matte car wash you may expect the durability i would say in western european uh, weather circumstances between six to eight months like we've seen also on the previous vinyl wrapped van we always had we did that two times per year, so approximately per six months, and that car was beating off every time nicely as it, uh, as it should. Uh, some things you maybe want to know, uh, a matte paint or a matte vinyl wrap has a so-called textured surface, and the texture makes the matte uptake. And within that texture, sometimes smear or detergents or, or oxidation can settle. And with that, also light matte colors can look a little bit like done and dull and neglected. So it's really, really, really important before you're going to apply the Jet Seal Matte to make sure you work on a clean surface. So wash it properly, meticulous matte car wash, as well as maybe on really stubborn spots. That's on the lower parts, the wheel arches around the car, the lower parts on the rear bumper. You might want to use a melamine sponge, a wonder sponge, together with the all clean or the orange degreaser. Please make sure to dilute it accordingly and correctly. On some matte vinyl wrap films, uh, some manufacturers and some brands, they give it some certain kind of coating. So even without doing anything on it, it will beat off. But it's just when it's new. When you washed it three or four or five times, the beating will be gone and you don't have any lotus or sheeting effect left. So then Jet Seal Mud will also be very good applicable for your situation. Um, so um, I think uh, we talked enough and explained enough. Let's see on the roof here behind me how the beading difference actually is. Here we've treated it and here we didn't treat it. So we can see really a huge difference already in beading effect. You can see here large water drops 
And here you see small and tight water drops to see what uh, the rooftop is tending towards go a little bit downwards so uh, what it does like this and you can see the water film wanting to uh, sheet off and on this side we uh, we see that less fast so let me wipe down the water i love these towels they're like so multi-purpose for everything so um to sum it all up how does the meticulous matte paint cleaning and paint protection and vinyl wrap cleaning and vinyl wrap protection system of uh, chemical eyes uh, work so first always be sure you work on a clean surface two bucket washing method meticulous matte car wash clean microfiber wash mitt and a microfiber drying towel for you easy as that then we use ipa decon ipa we spray this on a clean short pile microfiber towel to make sure all rests of fingerprints are gone grease from your fingers are gone glue rests are gone and it's a squeaky clean surface that we're going to work on then it's time to apply the jet seal mat in this case i took the red foam applicator i applied three to four drops per 50 square centimeters of jet seal mat on there and to let it glide glide and apply evenly i uh, primed it with the Chemical Meticulous Matte Car Wash which really helps to get that even um, saturation on your applicator and with that you get easy, even and straight lines applied on your matte surface. Then we waited for 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes we uh, wiped down the uh, residue of the jet seal mat and uh, then we waited for two hours and after those two hours we applied the second layer we wiped that off as well we saw some streaks uh, extending there and uh, those streaks we wiped down with the meticulous matte detailer in a clean short piled microfiber towel for that uh, nice and even finish which really prevents a lot of problems that sometimes people announce here with the jet seal mats. I really hope this helps you guys and girls out with this product. Then we leave the car here overnight so for the next let's say eight to ten hours and then it's ready to drive again and uh, yeah have a good protection on the matte surface for at least six to eight months when washed mildly. Here we go again meticulous matte car wash two bucket method. So hope you like this video I'm gonna finish off with the rest of the car being uh, well protected with jet seal mat and meticulous mat uh, uh, quick detailer i hope you like this video if you do so give it a thumbs up if you didn't do it already please share the wheeler detailers account with your friends and family we love to grow this channel so we're aiming on a thousand soon and uh, yeah we'll see you guys and girls in the next video sayonara bye bye I love these towels, they're like so multi-purpose for everything.